So it's Friday. You may want to let loose, maybe have some popcorn. How about let us entertain you with a good old fashioned game night? Oh, I love that. And someone who knows a thing or two about having fun at home, the author of Well Played and our friend Meredith Sinclair. Hi, Meredith. Hey ladies, well summer is just around the bend and we are all ready to get back with friends and family and I say game night or day is back. I have a lot of great games to share with you but first I think we need a snack. Let's go. I think a popcorn bar is absolutely perfect because everybody can help themselves at whatever kind of toppings and seasonings they want. We found this really cool vintage popcorn maker and an all you need popcorn kit online this is so easy to use. Your older kids can make it all on their own. And again, just come and go as they please. And then, you know, kids have got their water bottles or their juice boxes, but how about some great drinks for the grown-ups? Check these out. This is Craft House Cocktails, and these are their party boxes. What I love is that there are literally 15 perfectly mixed cocktails in every box. They're all natural, no preservatives, and they have flavors like Moscow Mule, pineapple daiquiri, and my personal favorite, the spicy margarita. Okay, we've got our snacks, we've got our drinks. Now it's time for some fun and games. All right, we love game shows in our house and the folks at Crowd Control Games have invented a really cool way for you to have a live game show right in your living room. All you need is your laptop and a television. You just download your favorite game. We love the feud, that's our favorite. And then you just pop it onto your television as if you were giving a presentation and voila, you are the host of your own game show. You can change the questions, you can make it custom to you, and they've got tons of games. We, like again, like Feud, but they have quiz games and all kinds of things. So check out Crowd Control Games for that. Grown-ups need some playtime too, and these next two games are for the 17 and older crowd. So what I love about these is it's not about keeping score, it's just about getting to know each other and having fun. The first game is called Who in the Room, and this is a stack of 300 quirky and kind of personal cards. And what you do is you read one of the questions and then everybody in the room points to the person that they think best is described by this question. So for example, it could be who in the room would spend $300 on a t-shirt or who in the room do you feel you can learn the most from? Who in the room? The second game for grownups is called Telestrations After Dark. And this one reminds me of the old fashioned game of telephone where you whisper something in someone's ear and you see what it ends up to be once it's gone around the circle. Except that this game is all about sketching what you're trying to communicate. So you choose a word from the cards. Some of them are naughtier than others. We chose online dating. We sketched what we thought online dating looks like. Then you pass it to your left and that person guesses what you've drawn and then you pass it again, and the next person draws what the person before them guessed, and so on and so forth until you get your book back, and then you read through your whole booklet of Telestrations, and it turns out to be quite hilarious. So this next one is just for the kiddos if they're looking for some active play. This is called Drone Home, and the whole goal of this is to get your little aliens into the drone so that they can fly home. So you launch them, oh, and if it goes right into the drone, it takes off and flies home. Super duper fun. <laughs> now for some active games for the backyard. This is for the whole family. This is called Bean Bag Buckets. And basically in two teams, you're trying to score 21 points with your bean bags by tossing them into the bucket. And it's harder than it looks. <laughs> and finally, the fun game of Papongo, brand new. What I love about this is this was invented by a guy during quarantine. He was trying to figure out a fun, socially distant way to hang out with his friends. So basically, you just take these lightweight balls and you toss them into the cups. You can bounce them in, you can sink them in. They all have different number of values. You choose the number you wanna to get to, but look out for the Papongo cups or you lose the points you just made on your last turn. I hope these ideas help you to have the fun summer you deserve. <laughs> nice catch, Meredith. Wow. You wanna try? Uh-huh. Open up. Oops, pretty good. Okay, for all her game ideas, head to today.com slash shop. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.